Hello my dear students and my dear friends assalamu alaikum and welcome back welcome back to top lesson for you dear friends as you know we are we have started a series of lectures on the basics of anatomy and what is anatomy and what is this knowledge about right now in the previous lecture i just introduced anatomy that what does the word anatomy means we had a full lecture on it and we defined anatomy by various definitions I hope you have watched that lecture and you have got an idea that what is anatomy and what do we do in anatomy. Then in the next lecture, in the second last lecture, I discussed about the differences between anatomy and physiology, that what is the basic difference about between anatomy and physiology, I had also told you. Now we are discussing anatomy, we should have a concept of the history of anatomy, right? A uh, knowledge without uh, knowing uh, uh, about its basics, about its uh, about its history, will be incomplete, right? Now we should have a very little knowledge about the history of anatomy. That from where the anatomy started, and up to the 21st century, what changes have been made by different physicians, by different doctors, by different scientists to bring this knowledge to us and to make it easy for us to understand the, 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 the structures of the body clearly, right? Now, we are discussing about the uh, history of anatomy. I will discuss it briefly, but I hope you will learn many things about the history of anatomy after watching this lecture. And friends, if you are watching us for the first time, don't be intense. Uh, please go and watch our previous lectures regarding the uh, anatomy of the human body I have recorded about many lectures I have recorded about circulatory system the nervous system the digestive system I have completed them right so you can watch those lectures and if you are watching for the first time uh, be sure to subscribe our channel and share these videos and these lectures with your friends also right so let's begin our lecture the history of anatomy history of anatomy definitions of anatomy have been already recorded in the previous lecture you can watch them to know about anatomy and what is anatomy I have fully explained it right friends if you want to um, if you want to know about the history of anatomy we start from all the basic from where did the knowledge of anatomy started right so first of all there was a uh, now, two different nations played their very important role in bringing the knowledge of the anatomy. There were the Greeks and there were the Romans who played a very important role in bringing the knowledge of this anatomy to us. Right Now, many other physicians have been played their role, but the most important from where it started were the Greeks and Romans. Right, So, we start the history from... BC right from the Greek period okay so let me write here first of all who were involved in the knowledge in bringing the knowledge of anatomy the first period starts from the Greeks period Greek period and this period is uh, we know that this was uh, simply called we call it BC right so from the BC we start that who were the scientists who were the doctors who played their role and in, in flourishing the knowledge of anatomy so in the Greek period the first scientist that we have is our friend Hippocrates Hippocrates may have so rest in fees but we don't know he was a great man he brought the knowledge of medicine he was a practitioner he was a medicine specialist and he brought the knowledge of medicine to us now the medicine different surgeries he performed different diseases he treated and he wrote about 70 books he was a famous physician he was a famous medicine expert right so I will say that he was given the, no, the name that he was the father of medicine, right? So he was called as the father of medicine. Why? 
because he played his very important role in the field of medicine in the field of treatment of different diseases right so we say that he treated treatment of many diseases that's why he was known as the father of medicine right then we say that he wrote about 70 books he wrote about 70 books and in these books he described all those diseases which he came to know and he described the treatments and the symptoms and everything regarding those diseases which he had studied which he had discovered which he had treated right so he wrote about 70 books that's why he is known as the father of medicine the Hippocrates and later on he was look carefully once he was known as the father of medicine then after studying the human body and after applying his knowledge on the human body he was given the name the father of anatomy the father of anatomy so he has got two very very important names the father of medicine and the father of anatomy what he had done he, uh, what he had done I told you that he treated many diseases and discovered them and in his 70 books he wrote about all those diseases that's why he is known as the father of medicine right then the next person the next important personality was our friend hero Phallus. and what did he do oh he is known as the the great father of anatomy why we will see right now look there is hero Phallus. So, Hero Phyllis is known as the father of anatomy. Let me write it here. He was given the name father of anatomy. Why he was given this name? Because he was the first person, he was the first scientist who started dissections, who started dissecting the human body, right? So he started dissections of the human body. Let me write it here. He started dissections of human body that's why he studied the human body completely not completely but he discovered many things and what were those discoveries that he did he said that first of all look carefully he dissected the human brain human nervous system he dissected and he said that cerebrum and cerebellum cerebellum are two different things are two different things he said okay then what did he do the, these are his inventions these are his important words what he did then he said that there are in a human body there are arteries there are veins right and there are nerves in the human body he said that arteries are different from veins and these both are different from nerves right so he discovered arteries he discovered veins he discovered nerves he said that cerebrum and cerebellum are the two different and important things right so he is known as he was a great we say that he was as we are discussing the Greek period so he was a Greek physician right he was a Greek physician and he for the first time I told you that he started dissections of the human body but here we say that Hippocrates did not dissect the human body he just discussed he just studied the diseases related to human body and other organisms but Hieropilus was the first hero who started dissections of the human body and another important thing that he told look carefully friends he said that whenever humans eat something these fats the fats which are eaten by the human body are absorbed by lac shield right now we know that 
in our small intestine there are small glands which are called leg shields right and I have discussed about that leg shield in my lectures regarding the anatomy of the human digestive system so I have recorded them right so he said that fats are absorbed fats are absorbed by leg shield right and leg shield is present we know that leg shield, leg shield is present in the small intestine the 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 mucosa and the sub mucosa of the small intestine we know that is present there right so he was known as the father of anatomy and he wrote a book a species treatise of i wow a species a special treatise of I he wrote the book and in his book he described many diseases and other things and the anatomy of the human eye right so this was his book and he was famous for what thing Herophilus was famous for the first time dissections of the human body right and he said that he dissected the human nervous system he dissected the human body and discovered the arteries veins and capillaries right uh, and nerves okay and then he wrote a book a special treatise of the eye right so he here uh, these two important heroes were the heroes of the Greeks right so the Greek period uh, consists of these uh, two important scientists and physicians and doctors right then we move towards the Roman period and in Roman period what happened Roman period so in the Roman period there was a famous scientist a famous physician a famous doctor who is known as Galen right who is known as Galen and this um, this person was very famous for his new discoveries and he is known as the prince of physicians right he was known as the prince of physicians right why because he did many surgeries he discovered many other things in the human body right so he was given the name as the prince prince of physicians because he did many practices on the human body and he discovered many other things and many some many other diseases in the human body and treated all of them right so the roman period is after ad right and this greek period is bc you can see and you know about this ad and bc i don't have to explain that right so uh, the the roman period started after the departure and you can also say that it started after the death right so galen from 130 to 200 ad he did his very important works to the field of anatomy and to the field of medicine and he was known as the prince of physicians right and he performed experiments on the physiology right so we say that he performed experiments on physiology of the human body right that's why he was called as the prince of physicians clear friends and he wrote a book okay he wrote a very famous book and the name of his book was the anatomicis administration oibus anatomicis administration Ibis. right this was his famous book and he did many discoveries and he wrote all those his discoveries in this book about the anatomy of the human body right so this was a period of the Romans and in this period the most important person was our friend Galen and he did his discoveries and he performed experiments on the human physiology and then he wrote a book anatomicis 
administration ibis in which he described many aspects of the human body right so then there starts our 14th century right there starts our 14th century let me write it here 14th century in what happened in 14th century there happened many important things and the person who was involved to develop anatomy in the 14th century was our friend Men Mandinus. He was Mondanus. Right. And he was also called as the Mandina de Luzi. His name, his full name was Mon Mondana Mondana D. Luzi. He was a very important person of the 14th century and he was from the 1276 up to the 1326 AD. You can say AD, right? So, in the 14th century, what did Mandina D. Luzi do? He did the, the, he restored, look carefully, look carefully, what very important functions, what uh, very important discoveries which were done by Hippocrates, the Hero Palace and the Roman period, the Galen, he restored all those important discoveries, right? So he re re restored, what did he, re he restore? He restored the discoveries discoveries in anatomy the, the all those discoveries which were done in anatomy before him he did the, the the restoration of all those processes right and he is known as the restorer of anatomy the restorer of anatomy clear friends what important discoveries did the Galen did he did the restoration of all of them and put them in a very important book to carry it to the next generation to the next century right so he is known as the restorer of the human and uh, the restorer of anatomy right and what did he do he did dissections right he did dissections of the human body and while doing these dis dissections he made the pictures and the diagrams of all those uh, uh, parts of the human body that he discovered after Galen and other scientists right so he did dissections and he wrote a book Anatomia right what was the the name of his book the name of his book was Anna and in this book he wrote all the new discoveries all the restorations which were restored after the work of the Galen and he put all those discoveries and all those restorations in his book the Anatomia right so this was about the 14th century right now about the next centuries and about the next discoveries Keep watching, top listen for you. See you in the next lecture.